Hello, my name is Denique Ward Earl. I was in forced care since I was four years old. Um, there was a lot of abuse, traumatic events happening. I didn't have no support, so it was kind of hard for me to trust people to open up or to have something to live for. When she came for an interview with us, um, my impressions of her were that she was very shy. Um, she was very guarded. Communicating with people, interacting with people, opening up, asking for support when I needed, those were the hardest things. But there was just something about her. That drive, that determination, just as you're speaking to her, it's contagious. They spoke to me uh, like a young adult with respect. I opened up, let my guard down a lot. It started to feel like home once I got my studio. Some place I could call my own, nobody kicks me out or harasses me or abuses me. I never had this much support from nowhere else. Um, anything I want to do, they give me advice. They push me to being the best person I could be. They also made sure that I reached those goals that I had. One of the biggest moments that I was proud of was her completing her CNA course. One of the moments was during a community meeting. So she discussed openly with um, her peers and with us as a staff the things that she has done for herself and how she's been resilient in her growth and her path and how she, the other residents can use that as an example for themselves. She's volunteering right now for New York Cares. And just being there for someone that is without or that cannot care for yourself or have no family, I could relate to that. So I felt like I was a great person to volunteer and to, to be there for someone. She's definitely done so much with the help of supportive housing and it's, it speaks to how important these programs are. Some of the biggest dreams for my future will be becoming that nurse. Um, but not just a nurse. I would like to be a nurse practitioner or a doctor. Someone that makes changes uh, for those around him, those that have no voice. She is persistent and determined and resilient. She's the bomb.